Good morning, I'm Mackenzie Alexander. And I'm Molly Cole. We're from Lawrence County High School. And this is our Level 3 Chapter Service Project Portfolio. Our project is Love in Lawrence, which is a hygiene station that's located in our restrooms for kids that are in need of personal hygiene products at school. This is our Story Events Online Summary Form. And this is a table of contents that shows what's on each of our slides. This is our FCCLA planning process summary page. It shows our concerns all the way to our follow-up. Our concern for this project was there was a lack of self-hygiene throughout our student body and it is very noticeable. And we wanted to relieve the stress of those students having to worry about going and obtaining those products for themselves. Our target audience for the Loving Lawrence was the kids that were in need of personal hygiene products at school, which includes students 9th through 12th at Lawrence County High School. Our goal for this project was to work with our local business and community members to create these hygiene stations and get products to fill them with. And we know students may not have the means to obtain these products themselves, so we wanted to provide it for them. Love and Lawrence reflects FCCLA's purposes through Purpose One, which states to provide opportunities for personal development and preparation for adult life. Having a higher self-confidence can open up endless possibilities for one's future. Love and Lawrence reflects on family and consumer science through 7.4.2, which analyzes management, living environments, and family conditions, which influence well-being. Statistics show that students with a higher self-esteem are more likely to be successful. Love and Lawrence was very time consuming. Me and Molly spent endless hours inside and outside of school weekends and fixing our schedules so we could work on the project. And even though it did take a lot of time and a lot of work, it was totally worth it for me and Milo. We poured our hearts and souls into this project to help our fellow students get what they need. So that made it totally worth it for us. We faced many challenges while trying to get Loving Lawrence off the ground. One being finding appropriate space in our restrooms to put these stations and I was unable to drive and we also had to work around our game and practice schedules and with COVID a lot of the products that we needed were out of stock so it was harder to find those products that we needed. Our alternative actions for this were to talk to our custodian and get appropriate places for our stations. I also drove when we did our pickups and we had drives to get the products that we needed. So no matter how many barriers we came across, we always found ways to overcome them. This is a list of our partners. It shows how we had anonymous donors and it shows the various hotels that donated and gave us products. And our SCCLA chapter also helped us by donating some masks. Our work plan for Loving Lawrence was totally developed by me and Mala, the whole idea with help from our FCCLA chapter who did various activities to help us with our stations. We also partnered with our special needs class and had outreach from several different people in our community while we were all oversaw by our FCCLA advisor. This is a timeline. It shows when we started in September of 2020 and it goes through the present. We hope that this timeline continues and we can make it last for a very long time. Our actions, tasks, and roles for Living Lawrence were we composed hygiene drives with our FCCLA chapter, we went and did weekly pickups, we refilled weekly with our special needs classes, and we had a very big outreach with our community through social media platforms and just getting the word out about our hygiene stations. We started off with no money in our account. One of our teachers heard about what we were trying to do and donated $50 into the account. With that money, we had enough to get our project off the ground. We also received monetary donations from some of the hotels that we get donations from in general. So with the money in our account, we had enough to get Loving Lawrence off the ground. We purchased containers and products to fill in our stations, put them in our school, and we don't need any more additional money at this point, but with the connections and relationships we've made with everybody that donates, we wouldn't be afraid to ask for additional monetary donations. 
To increase public awareness, our school put a segment in our school's news broadcast about Loving Lawrence. And we also broadcasted it on several social media platforms. And one of our local superintendent candidates also served as a spokesperson to spread the news around the community about what Loving Lawrence is. This is the news broadcast that was shown at our school. impacted over 600 students with Loving Lawrence. We not only provided them with resources, we provided them with a sense of confidence. We involved youth in Loving Lawrence, not only through our SCCLA chapter, but also our special needs class. They helped us sort through all the donations we got and refill our stations weekly. This project is unique because me and McKenzie completely developed this idea by ourselves. We understand that some other schools may have hygiene pantries, but we wanted to take away the embarrassment of having to go and ask for those products. And we hope that this will continue in our school and eventually branch out to all of the other schools in our system. We start off with a pre-survey to a random sample of students to see what hygiene products that they needed, inside school, outside school, or just in general. We waited about three months after having all our stations implemented and gave a post survey to another random sample of students to see if they benefited from Loving Lawrence, if they even used them at all, or if what products that they still needed at school, outside of school, just in general. And about after three months later, in October, Loving Lawrence was in full force at Lawrence County High School. Here you can see some statistics from our pre-survey. And here are statistics from our post-survey. This is a flyer that we hung up around our school and our community that tells what Loving Arts is about. And these are a few of the pictures that were taken along our journey with Loving Lawrence. It shows from us picking up donations, what products we receive, working with our special needs classes, just a big overlook of our project in general. Thank you for watching our presentation. We hope you liked it as much as we enjoyed putting Loving Lawrence into our school. Follow up question number one. What is one skill that you learned or improved upon during your project that you will use in the school year next year or in your future career? A big thing that me and Mala learned through Loving Lawrence was networking. We learned to make connections with other people and really get our foot in the door. And I can use that in my future no matter where I go. If I go to college or if I go straight into the workforce, I can always go back and talk to the connections I've made along the way. Question number two, what obstacles cause challenges in your work and how did you address them? As we stated in the previous slides, we had a really hard time finding an appropriate place in the restrooms. So me and McKenzie went and talked to our custodian and he agreed to build us these special counters in the bathroom so that there would be a nice place to put Loving Lawrence. Thank you. Thank you.